do is I'm going to make a list of the questions in order of votes, and then we'll start there and just kind of go throughout the review as time allows. I'm Lydia Newquist, and I am two days away from finishing my first year of teaching math at South High School. So question eight's kind of a doozy, and I'm glad we're getting it done first because towards the end of the hour, your brains are a little bit more mushy, and this stuff will be less likely to stick. This year has been like it's the fastest year of my life but it's also been the slowest year of my life because I look back okay kids came in August and I feel like I don't even remember what I did in August and then here we are it's been May so time has flown but it's also drug on and I feel like I've lived many years in this one year but it's been great I've talked to a lot of other first year teachers who've had kind of horror stories of crazy things that went wrong but most of the ones that I'm talking to and myself included were like this is awesome, we chose the right job. This is great, it's fulfilling, it's really tiring, <laughs> but it's it's an amazing job. What? Oh, good thing we're <laughs> here today. Okay, um, if you forgot how to factor, where in my room could you look at a poster? See, the best thing that's happened to me this year is just the other teachers I work with. like. I don't think I've ever laughed so hard in between passing periods with teachers or laughed after school just debriefing about you'll never believe what happened today and, and just the support I get from that. Like I know I could run across to any room at any time of day to any teacher and be like help and they would drop whatever and just come to my assistance. The next best thing was my peer consultant. So I had Katie Harmon as my peer consultant and she came at least once a week to either watch me teach and collect data or to conference about something. That was probably the most helpful thing because college teaches me the math and it teaches me kind of how to teach it, but it doesn't teach me how to like handle my planning period and what emails to answer to and what emails to ignore and all those things that can really weigh on you if you don't know who to ask. And then I say, yay, solve for why, I'm done, on to the next one. And then you say, Miss Newquist, you nincompoop. What did I forget to do? I gotta solve for X. I think the biggest surprise was just how different the day-to-day -day of everything would be. Like I teach all Algebra 1, so I teach the same, well in theory, I teach the same thing five times. But I have never once taught the same thing the same way five times. So, you know, I teach stuff completely different to my first hour than I do my sixth hour because I've grown in the two days I've been teaching this lesson. I also have different types of kids coming in and learning, so I've really been surprised that even though I plan for one lesson, in my head I'm actually thinking through how are the five different ways I'm going to teach this going to go. And that's been, like I didn't expect that. I thought I would be set up perfectly for one prep and everything would be great, but it's kind of tricky. Sabrina just said, we learned something. You have! You really have though. Like when we were doing this back in January, you guys were like one more equation away from tears and like failing that test. But now you're like, oh yeah, I remember this. And all of you are like working ahead and starting to get glassy eyed because you're bored. I love review days, even though it's really like kind of strenuous on the teacher because it almost feels like, okay, I just cross my fingers on what they remember. But I love seeing it because even in class today, there are students who are like, oh yeah, I remember this. Oh, this is easy and, and all those things. And it almost like brought tears to my eyes because when I was teaching them that skill, they were ready to give up. But I think the most rewarding thing is they will come back by my room and they will say, thank you for doing this. Thank you for doing that. Or even though you gave me homework every day, I really did learn that. Thank you for a great year. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. I know, I know. I, can't, I you just, you're great, okay? I'm feeling more tired than I've ever felt in my entire life. Um, I'm so exhausted, but I'm also so happy for my students. And today was hard as I, you know, see them walk out the door. It's like, wow, this is the last time I'll really get to interact because after this, it's just finals and it's kind of come in, be quiet, take your test, and have a great summer. Um, but I'm oddly really excited for August. Like I was talking to some other teachers and I was like, how can I be so tired and so ready for summer, but also just as equally excited to start with a new group of kids in August. And one of my teachers was like, that just means you chose the right job. <laughs> I was like, oh. <laughs>